Hey guys, Mike Crossford here in my hands today. Cure Putter CX-1. Really looking forward to reviewing this one actually. Quite a few people have asked me about this putter. It's quite a unique design. I've not seen many like this one. This is the CX range. There's another range which we'll do as well. So this is the classic series from Cure Putters. There's little Allen keys, there's weight charts. Let's talk to you about what this putter could do for your golf game. Let's get stuck in. So, Classic Series CX-1 from Cure Putters. Um, there's a CX-1 which I've got in my hands here, and then there's also a CX-2, which is slightly more rounded. Um, I've got this little card in my hands because the weight system is numbers that, are, uh, numbers that I'm not going to remember. So basically, look, we're getting three weights, heel and toe in the back here, which are changeable with this simple turn of this Allen key. Now, if I was to take, and I'll just show you here, the middle two weights out, uh, very easy just to screw out here, look. That's very simple, just screws out. I'm going to take one of them out. Very simple, that goes back in because it's only screwable from one side. Now, if I was to take these two middle weights out, what happens is the weight of the putter goes from 376 grams down to 362 grams. So it moves the physical weight of the club down. Then in turn, what it does, it shows me what the, does the MOI. The MOI number comes down by 150 um, grams per centimeter squared, I think that's measured in. So you can take all three weights out of each side, so six weights in total, and you're moving it down from 720 MOI, 7,200, down to 6,400 MOI properties. So you're losing MOI qualities. And you're also bringing the weight down from 376 grams down to 33. Four. So you can really dial in the weight and in turn MOI qualities of this putter. So MOI is going to really help you. The higher the number, so the more weight you have in, the easier it will be to keep the ball speeds up across the face, basically, which then in turn might allow you to hit a few more putts that stay on your desired line if you can read the green and hopefully hit the hole and go in because if you're hitting a putt and it's not got the right pace, unless you've chosen the wrong line, it is not gonna go in. So keeping that ball speed up across the face is key for putting, really. Um, and this one's really trying to push it to its limits. Now, when I look at the putter, it's its classic series. Now, I would use that term loosely. There are more classic putters, but if you compare this one to some of the other Cure Putter range, this is very classic actually reminds me of very Bryson DeChambeau, very kind of brick looking uh, putter, very square, blocky in its shape. I actually quite like the shape of this. White line up line on the back to the black face, shaft coming out almost straight from the leading edge, just a slight bit of kinking forwards. You also get these weights on the outside heel and the toe here as well. Again, it's all about trying to keep the MOI up on these putters. So if I putt with this putter, I like the way it sits down by the ball. It's a fraction upright for me, but I am a little bit flat with my putter. It makes a nice uh, sound, which then in turn feels very nice off the blade. I absolutely could use this putter. I've picked this putter up quite a lot since it's come in my office and in my house and I really feel like I could use it. It's a face balance putter for whatever that means for people out there. I don't see any patterns in that so much. Um, it comes with these standard red cure grips on which you could obviously get custom fitting lengths and everything else as well. It's a good looking putter. It feels nice. MOI definitely you do feel like it is pushing those properties up. It feels heavy. It feels like it's not gonna turn around too much, which I like. Um, it does feel very, very nice. I do feel a little bit like I think it's not gonna to appeal to maybe everyone in its shape. Um, certainly not the most classic of looks compared to say other put putters out there with their kind of uh, much more traditional looks. But this one certainly, like I say, out of the Cure range is pulling it back much more to where people would want that classic feel to, or, or look to be. CX1, also CX2, I like this. Definitely one that you might wanna give a go. Um, it looks good, it feels good. I do like the changeable weights. I think people who wanna really think about it and dial their putter in, um, this one might be the one that allows them just to get that exact kind of feeling they want out of a putter. No grooves on the face as well, just a little bit of milling. I've said it in other videos, The what grooves do to a face on a putter is very much 
up for debate and obviously at the moment cure putters are going more for the milling rather than saying the grooves are doing anything check these guys out let me know what you think i don't think they're the cheapest butters in the world i've not seen the prices maybe post comments down below all i do know is that people don't spend enough money and time on their putters and maybe this might be the answer Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.